Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys how to set up dynamic wallpapers on the home screen and lock screen of your iOS 14 device. Now, this is a new feature that Apple has added to iOS 14.3, which of course currently is on beta stages. So if you have the iOS 14.3 beta installed on your device, you can try out this feature right now. If you don't, then you will have to wait for a few weeks for iOS 14.3 to be released to the public probably that will be in December. So you don't have to wait that long. So in this video, I will show you guys the step-by-step -step process on how to create a shortcut, then an automation that will let you have wallpapers change automatically on the home screen and lock screen of your iOS 14.3 device. Now, the first thing you want to do is of course, go ahead and open the shortcuts app, tap the plus button right there to create a new shortcut tap on add action right there and then go ahead and search for find photos. So once you search for find photos right here, tap on there. And now what you need to do is tap on add filter. Now album is recent right here. This means that it will pick photos from the recent album. Now what you can do here is go ahead and pick any album that you want to set the wallpapers from that album. Of course, you can even go ahead and create a new album on the photos app with the wallpapers that you want, or you can just go ahead and just tap right there on recents and just choose one of the albums that you currently have on your camera roll. So let's just choose backdrops right there. And now what you need to do is go ahead and tap on none right there and choose how you want to sort them. I just choose random right here and enable the limit and set it to one. Now, once you have set the limit to one, you're good to go. You tap the plus button here and go ahead and search for set wallpaper. Now, once you find set wallpaper, go ahead and tap on it and tap on show more right here and make sure you disable this button. And now you're basically good to go. All you have to do is just go ahead and tap the next button and name the shortcut. And once you have done that, tap on the dump button and this right now will automatically change your wallpaper. So here we have the wallpaper. If I tap on there to run the shortcut, you will see that it will change the wallpaper to another one every time I tap there. But of course, we don't want to have to go to run the shortcut in order to change the wallpaper. We want that to be done automatically. And you can do that, of course, using an automation. So you go ahead and go to automations and tap the plus button right here, create personal automation. And you can choose either one of these. I choose, of course, time of the day here. So I can set a different wallpaper, maybe based on the light mode or dark mode that I'm using on my iPhone. If I have it set up to sunset to sunrise, I can go ahead and choose like different wallpapers. But for right now, I will choose here time of the day. So let's just go here a minute later and see how this works. Tap the next button, tap on add action and just go ahead and run shortcuts. So search for run shortcut shortcuts run shortcut tap right there on the shortcut and just choose the shortcut that we just created disable this right here so it doesn't ask us tap the dumb button and we're good to go so now you can see at 1423 it will actually change the wallpaper automatically so that's the automation and by the way you can create like a ton of different automations with different times so i have created that one for 1423, I can create another one, let's say for 630 or something like that. And I can have, of course, at that time, another wallpaper. So as you could see right here at, at 1423, it did automatically change the wallpaper, which is really, really great. And as you probably have noticed here, it didn't also show any notification at all, which is really good because if your device is on sleep, then it once it changes the wallpaper, it will send you the notification and wake up your device. So if you don't want to see that notification from the shortcut app, let me show you guys how to disable it. So the first thing you need is to have screen time enabled on your settings. Then go to settings, go to screen time and tap on show all activity and just scroll all the way down and you will find notifications right here. So just go ahead and tap on shortcuts and right here you can disable notifications for shortcuts and that's it. So you can disable all of them or you can just disable the banner or disable them on the lock screen. I disable them completely right here so it don't interrupt me. It doesn't show me any notifications at all. So this is so easy to go ahead and have 
like dynamic wallpapers on the home screen and lock screen of your device. Now, if you go back here to the shortcuts, you can go ahead and edit the shortcut if you want to change like the album. Of course, you just have the three dots right there and you go ahead and just tap on backdrops in this case of course on the name of the album that you have and just go ahead and choose whatever you want to do you can also change whether you want to see it, want to set the wallpaper on the home screen or lock screen by tapping this part right here and just select which one of them so if you don't want to change let's say the lock screen wallpaper you can go ahead and deselect it right here and tap done once you have done all the changes of course you don't need to change anything on the automation just on the shortcut when you want to change something like the album for example so that's basically it for this video guys this is how you can have dynamic wallpapers on the home screen and lock screen of your ios 14.3 device again ios 14.3 is just a few weeks away right now is on beta stages so probably very very soon it will be released to the public so that's basically it thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one